Now, a journalist working with Twitter claims the FBI paid the social network money and at the same time pressured Twitter about its content. Yeah, those claims found in what Elon Musk is calling the Twitter files. Scott McGrew joining us now. And, and Scott, is that claim true about the money? Well, we've asked the FBI, Marcus, of course, and so far we have not received an answer. We can't ask Twitter because Twitter fired its entire team that answers journalists' questions. That's just some of the problems with the Twitter file files as they're called. Journalists working with Elon Musk are revealing small segments of internal Twitter emails that date back years. But we cannot show the original documents or the context, only what they choose to show. That said, the latest claim about money from the FBI comes from this tweet from author Michael Schellenberger, handpicked by Musk to go over the Twitter files. An email from a Twitter executive to someone else in the company. Noting the company's scale department, that's its safety, content, and law enforcement department, created a policy to ask agencies like the FBI to reimburse Twitter for its expenses as it cooperated with law enforcement. Again, there's no one answering questions at Twitter but one way to understand this memo is Twitter was getting so many inquiries it didn't have to answer, it started to charge money for the manpower. Twitter executive Jim Baker, a former FBI agent himself, notes Twitter generally didn't enforce the fee, but that it eventually collected $3.4 million. Add to that the pressure the head of Twitter's trust and safety said he was feeling from the FBI, and some on the right feel, between the money and the pressure, there was some sort of government push to quash content on Twitter. And certainly we know the FBI was tasked with warning social networks about Russian efforts to post false information. Internal emails show the head of Twitter safety saying he's, quote, not particularly comfortable with the FBI's questions about Twitter content. Elon Musk had an entirely different interpretation of this money idea. He said in a tweet that the FBI had paid Twitter to censor information. What we have seen doesn't support that. The email says or seems to indicate Twitter billed the FBI for what appears to be manpower. And Scott, no, we were talking earlier about it that we haven't seen, you know, the Twitter files get a lot of media attention. Yeah, it didn't go viral. It didn't get a lot of media attention. Part of it is the format. We were talking about this earlier. It was published by people on Twitter that a lot of mainstream Twitter followers don't necessarily no. follow. And it's clunky. I mean, it's 45 part tweets as opposed to doing it to an article. Mainstream media uh, has been accused of not pay <clears throat> paying much attention. I will say in many cases, we covered these issues already. Uh, Jack Dorsey yes. testifying to they Congress under oath about the poor decisions that Twitter leadership made when it came to blocking links to a newspaper article about Hunter Biden. This was years ago. He said they blew it. Now we're seeing some of those internal emails about that very same subject, certainly confirming that. But, you know, at one point we had the Twitter CEO under oath in front of Congress answering those questions.